Yeah, 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 yeah. Bring it in, bring it in. Take a seat. We got to speed. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang. If you respect the handle, subscribe to the channel. You know what I'm saying? Stay in tune with everything that's going on around here. Salute to my guy Showtime SP and all that and all of that and all of that. So, uh, Cassidy is back in the news again. A lot of people are talking about it. He had an interview this weekend. And Cassidy was talking heavy, as he do. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not... I ain't mad at him at this point, you know what I'm saying? Like, Cassidy is going to continue to do the shit that he do. He's going to continue to talk it like he talking with 15 minutes of fame. And for, let's, 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 let's just bring in the clip. What do you say? Me. And that's why I wanted to show niggas that. That's why I'm not dedicated to no league. That's why I do business with every league. Right. It don't matter. Whoever bring the right business to the table at the right time, I do business with them. And I show that they can all be successful. So, I don't need no league to show nothing. The biggest league at the time is whatever league I'm doing business with at the time. That's the biggest league at the time. <laughs> Cassidy said... The biggest league is whatever league I'm doing business with at the time. And I must say at this point in time, it's kind of right. He's kind of right. He's taking his talents to, uh, you know, he did the first thing with Alki Davis. He's taking his talents to URL, battled a couple times over there. He just battled on Rare Breed. He's doing millions of views everywhere, bringing in pay-per-view streams. People are watching. He's entertaining. He's talking this shit. When he first came into the um, battle rap shit, I ain't gonna lie. A lot of people, including myself, were very skeptical about whether Cassidy was going to be able to fit in this day and age, in this style, and could he continue to improve what, what he was doing, and I must say that he has. Whether you feel like he's winning, whether you feel like he's losing, Battle Rap is entertainment, and it's all objective. Who, like, At the end of the day, if he's getting booked, getting paid, what he's getting paid, bringing in the numbers that he's bringing in, and people are comfortable with bringing him back again and again and again, Face-offs doing millions of views. Cassidy kind of got the game. He's overcharging niggas for what they did to the Cold Crush. Cassidy is telling artists. Now he's giving artists game. Yo, y'all don't need to be tied to no league. The battle rappers are more important than the battle rap leagues. Like, y'all can do what y'all want. I seen Debo making comments, you know what I'm saying, telling Cassidy it's about, you know, why is Cassidy trying to come at the leagues? The league has been doing this, that, and the third for plenty and plenty of years. But listen, at this point... A lot of artists are starting to be smarter. They're starting to see what's going on. Like every single, the thing about the leagues, right? There's some leagues that do good business. There's other leagues that do okay business. And there's some leagues that aren't, don't really have the artist's best interest in mind. It is what it is. Like you've seen, there's been so many stories here and there. I don't have to get into this and get into that. But I will say this. We've watched artists build their own career without needing a league. Prime example, A Ward has built his career, he's got Charlie Clips next, he's got Shotgun Shug, he just battled Arsenal, he's already battled Danny Myers, and a whole slew of other MCs without being on the biggest league. Why isn't he there? He's not there because of politics. You know, they don't want, they want to sign like a three, four, five year deal or something like that. They want him to do a free battle and all, a bunch of stuff that's just not gonna happen. Like you had a chance to put the genie in a bottle years ago, didn't do it, and now you fumble on the play and everybody knows. Like, the funny thing is, I've seen battles this year where in the comments, they're like, yo, this is a great time to call A-Ward. Yo, make it up with A-Ward, yo. Just do what you gotta do. Get him over there, whatever the case may be. Because, like, pride is the devil. You know what I'm saying? Pride is the devil. Pride can fuck us up in a lot of ways. Being prideful and not admitting that, okay, you know what? I got it wrong. Come do a battle. Why should A Ward battle somewhere and not get paid when y'all have MCs who are showing up without rounds, showing up stumbling, showing up choking, showing up walking out without? Why? Why would he bring his talents when he doesn't choke, he doesn't stumble? Why would he do that? I seen A Ward lose one battle in my recent memory, and that was versus XL. Um, but Cassidy is basically, you know, he's starting a tournament. He's got a hundred thousand dollar prize. Like he's giving back to the artist. You can't knock that. Regardless of how you may feel, I know a lot of us was probably looking at Cassidy like, yo, this nigga's entertaining than a motherfucker, but he ain't gonna last because like he's not good or whatever the case may be as far as the battle rap shit. And a lot of people's calling him delusional. But now when you see his master plan starting to unfold, he just had something down there in Atlanta. He's got Mook, he's got Rex, he's got Gishi Gotti, he's got Easy to Block Captain, he's got uh, daylight. He's got all of these Danny Myers. He's got all of these top MCs down there 
helping him move his project. He's got the game like this. Cassidy is literally, <laughs> he's got the Thanos stone, and he's going from all the leagues, getting notoriety from the King of the Dots, the RBEs, the URLs. I mean, with Alki Davis, he'll probably go to King of the Dot next until he has like the whole battle rap game in a soul stone. <laughs> Shit's crazy, man. Um, but he's basically like, you know, and when the funny thing was, when Cass first came out, his energy was geared towards the battle rappers, saying that he's the best in the world. He's the energy. Nobody could fuck with him. And it was good. It was good to the leagues. The leagues thought it was great entertainment. He was getting books. He was getting high numbers. But ain't no fun when the rabbit got the gun. Now he got the gun, and he's pointing it at the league owners. He done, he done reunited the, the artists. You see Cassie done reunited the artists. He got all these artists together, you know, having this big thing that he's about to throw. So he's he already united the artists. So now he's taking the gun and he's aiming it at the league owners. Now he's not, I didn't see anything disrespectful as far as like, you know, he was not disrespectful in his stance. He said what he had to say. He basically said, we're the energy. Why are we, why are we subjecting ourselves to what a league owner says? I was around battling, and this is fact, Cass was around battling before any league, any league. And I like the fact that he said he's here to make money for everybody. When you, when Cassidy's around, Niggas make money everywhere. The league owners make money. The leagues make money. The, the artists make money. The media makes money. The views, like the recaps, everybody makes money. So while I may have been reluctant as far as with Cassidy's first battles, the moves that he's made in correspondence with it ain't nothing but respectable. You gotta have, now you gotta have respect for it. I, if he goes and battles some top-notch MC, I can still feel however I feel about the battle. That's a different story. But the humanitarian acts that he's doing, putting on a tournament where somebody could win a potential record deal, win $100,000, and that's life-changing money, you got to respect that. You have no choice. If you can't respect that, your whole perspective is whack. This is all perspective-based. This is not based on, on any singular situation as far as with any league. But him saying that I'm not with no league, I battle wherever I want. I've been saying this for years. If you can't get paid on the earth this big, you worthless kid, you can't even deserve to live. I've seen MCs sit up on leagues like URL and just sit there, not get no big stage opportunities, not be on no big name cards, and just sit there for year after year after year. And I'd be like, y'all niggas need to go battle somewhere else. If niggas is not making you a priority, then that tells you more. If you see newer guys come onto the league and they getting bigger opportunities than you, then that already tells you where you stand. Like. Sometimes a person's actions speak louder than the moves that they're making. They're basically telling you, yo, if this new guy is on Gnome, like there's mad newer dudes that's on Gnome. If I was on URL for two, three years, and I seen all these new cats on Gnome, and you're not even getting a shot, that's telling you it's time for you to, <coughs> it's, time, it's time for you to take that somewhere else, man. I ain't no hater. I just call it like I call it so I can't spoil it in order to keep it a buck. I got to be honest. <laughs> you, let's just keep it a solid with you. If you're not getting the opportunities, you're not getting the looks, you're not getting treated the way you need to be treated, then what the fuck are you sitting around for? You look crazy. You do. A lot of y'all look crazy. I ain't call out no names because the fans could just start dropping the names in the comments of people that they think could be doing better somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? Like some of y'all need to go get Amazon job or something work at fucking uh, Walmart distribution center because the battle rap shit, niggas is keeping you in a box. You already can't post your music. Your, I mean, your battles. You already can't use clips from your battles. You already can't use your verses. The verses that you spit, you put them up on Quarter Lab, that shit is getting snatched down. You put up on Instagram, that shit gets snatched down. There's ways you can do it, you know what I'm saying? Because I use clips too, and um, if they could, they would snatch every single one of these motherfuckers down. But I ain't gonna say, you know what I'm saying? That's not my business, not your business. But anyway, um, Cassidy is in his motherfucking bag, and it's respectable. Um, He's done a lot for battle rap, and he's basically saying he's doing a lot. He's currently doing a lot. He's basically saying, you don't need no lead. Salute to 15 minutes of fame for that audio clip. Uh, you know, it is what it is. Game.